Hi, right, the Bomb Wolf, Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Okay, we're going to talk about the accent. Most guys are playing the drums as follows. They are pushing instead of snapping. Mystical Drumming teaches incorporating martial arts, the ancient wisdom of martial arts, how to move our bodies in the most efficient way possible to get the maximum results. So by doing so, we, we are moving better while playing the drums. And this is a movement instrument, obviously, a lot of movement, probably the most movement of any instrument. So guys are hitting the drum. Now that actually hurts, okay? We don't want to hit the drum. We want to play the drum. The tip of the stick and the pad should do 90%, 90, I'm sorry, 99% of the work. They bounce on their own. We don't have to do really anything. Shut the volume off a second. We don't have to do anything. These guys are doing, it's, it has its own energy. So we have to apply very little energy to allow, we allow the bounce. Okay, we allow, okay, allow. We don't, we don't push, we allow, okay? Now, snap. I'm gonna turn this way, okay? So when we pull a volume on this, I hope it's good for you, uh, this volume. I hope, okay. Um, if I want to, if I want to create an accent, okay, you can generally do it in two ways. You're going to start from here or here, right? Okay, so if it's from here, okay, it's going to be not push, kind of like you know whack. Okay, if I stay, if I instead snap, okay, I'm what I'm doing is I'm whipping the stick. In essence, I'm losing control of stick. If I do it correctly, it's... I'm kind of throwing the stick with reckless abandon, but it's not reckless. The stick is going through the air and kind of... It's in my hand, but in a sense, it's not. And in a, in a very micro way, it's being controlled and caught again. So it is being... It's being It's that energy is It's like a release when you throw a punch you want to breathe in boxing martial arts kind of thing it's It's so it's not Okay, where you feel tension and tightness and hurts and silly things like injuries and more car, uh, you know carpal tunnel and you know whatever You don't want that to happen. Okay, it's okay, so the arm is dropped I'm dry, totally, as dry as you can be, though I'm not straight, right, so I have all my power here. I'm generating chi from within here, kind of like, it's like a okay. So we're, we're snapping, think of a bullwhip, you snap. Okay, when you throw a baseball, it's the body is from the foot through the leg, the thigh, very powerful. The arm is not strong relatively to the rest of the body. The hip, the core, the chest, the shoulder, and the arm is whipped through a zone, right? A football, good football or quarterback, right? Good one. It's from the feet through the calves, through the very strong thighs, the hips, the core, right, the chest, the shoulder, and the ball is whoosh, whipped, right? Highlight, a good golfer, they're not whipping or Tiger Woods, ideally, right? You're not whipping, pushing, this, pushing your iron uh, through the zone. Your body is creating a whipping motion and creating the ability for a whip. And it, the, the, the iron goes through, right? You get the idea, throwing a punch. Throw a punch here, there's very little power in the arm. 
Throw with your shoulder. There's more. Throw with the back and the shoulder. Now there's more. Throw with the chest, back, shoulder. Now moving the arm through a slot. There's going to be a lot more power. Now if you really do it correctly, you're doing it from your foot, leg, thigh, hip, core, chest, and shoulder, and the arm is brought through. Like, like or if you're boxing, you're doing a, doing a right a right cross. Okay, it's like a whipping motion, and as the last thing that comes through is the arm, and wham, okay, right, and brought back immediately to cover, whatever you're doing, cover, okay, get the idea, so it's whip, 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 if you're starting from here, from down on the, let's take uh, the lower position, it's not, I am raising and hitting. No. What you're doing is you're whipping again. So it's, it's going upstroke and downstroke. So you, you have to raise. Instead of raising, it's like a cobra. You're going to cobra the stick. You're going to cobra the stick. That's right. So you think how a cobra strikes. It goes back and... Whew, it's a wave, right? Think about how a lion strikes or a bear or something like that. Generally, it doesn't go like that. It gets energy, chi, muscles, core, the whole thing, and rap. Okay, a rattlesnake. Okay, the idea again? So it's like this way, in essence, I'm kind of raising, coming up, and snapping. So it's rap, rap, rap. When you start getting faster, do it slowly at first. You get that idea. It's an extremely loose. My shoulders drop, my elbows drop. It's here. It's all loose, 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 loose. 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 Okay, I am. I'm gonna whip it from here, down here, a little faster. Whip. Okay. Whip, whip. Now even faster. Rip. Okay, so it's whip. It's whip. We'll get faster. Rip. Faster. Rip. Ha. 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 So it's rip. Rip. So I'm doing one e and 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 one e. So, this is critical to understand and get down. Um, a lot of teachers, Gladstone and Moeller, okay, um, I mean, all do credit to these guys who are incredible. Moeller, once you raise your hand up, in my opinion, I'm not taking anything away from it, I'm just telling you my opinion. You're up here, shoulders up, there's tightness on my arm, because once the shoulder's up, arm is engaged, Wrist is engaged, there's tightness in here. So the idea is to create speed with low or medium or high molar. In my opinion, waste of movement and creating tension. Much better. Up here. Okay, so 
with his hand as well, okay? Wow. sticking to the stick. When you're doing it that way, you're going to have a lot of velocity, looseness, ability to play dynamically, and you're doing rudiments and whatever, and your fills, plays, and you, whatever you're doing, you're going to have tremendous good feeling about this, okay? So, okay, it's whip. From up here, or down here, okay? So, the accent, Okay, practice that, and uh, continue watching our videos, and stay loose with everything, okay? Drumming, life, being loose is allowing, letting go. It's an, drums are an analogy for life. Life's an analogy for drums. It's all one. Everything is one. Loose. Right, if you're loose here, if you're loose inside, you should be loose inside. If you're not loose inside, you're not going to play loose on the drums. If you're not loose inside, your life is going to be tight. Your life should be a river. Row, row, row your boat merrily down the stream. Right? Merrily, loosely, letting go. Father, thine will, not mine. If you're a spiritual person, I am. If you're not, that's fine. Okay? But if you are, just the wisdom of that Father, um, universe, um, consciousness, light, whatever works for you is fine. Uh, God, whatever. Getting out of the way, right? Um, the, the Lord's Prayer, if you happen to be in any sort of Christianity. Um, the whole prayer is really about letting go, right? The Serenity Prayer, if you're in a 12-step program, it's about basically letting go, right? Um, if you boil down most most spiritual, spiritual beliefs, uh, concepts, uh, paradigms, archetypes, whatever. It comes down to letting go. Right? Or philosophies, it's also just 12 steps, or, you know, uh, philosophers, right, you know, a lot of it's about letting go. Kind of like, boy, that's a common denominator. To me, the common denominator is letting go. We have an infinite um, jewel that's perfect inside, like an infinite diamond, infinite perfect diamond inside. And by letting go of the layers, we allow that to express itself as we're doing here. Richard Bach wrote a book called Illusions. I highly recommend you read it. <clears throat> Somewhere in the book, uh, he said something along the lines of um, that uh, perhaps we're not learning to play an instrument, we're remembering. It's a very interesting concept, you know, kind of it's a Jungian. Uh, then again, Carl Jung, I believe when he was alive, there was already Jung, Jungian people who were becoming his uh, followers, making him a guru. And he said, uh, I want nothing to do with being a Jungian, you know, I'll, <laughs> he was making a joke of people, you know, being followers, whatever. Not a joke in a bad way, just, you know, kind of like lighten up with that stuff. And uh, Buddha said something, like, paraphrasing, I think he said something like, uh, if you find the Buddha on the road, kill him. Uh, what does that mean? Well, if I gave the answer, I would be doing you a disservice. Think about it, meditate on it, pray on it, whatever, if you wish, and uh, you'll find that it'll... It'll help you in a lot of ways understand what it is to be loose. So loose here, mystical drumming is all about looseness. And uh, looseness on drums, is looseness in your life. It's all good stuff, right? So, um, yeah. We'll do more on this and uh, move along. Keep watching and uh, keep improving. And remember, love yourself, okay? <laughs> Whatever you do, no peace, it all means nothing. Okay? You become the most famous, rich drummer in the world and, you know, TV and... You know, then become a movie star and whatever, and knock yourself out. And if you're not, if you don't have no peace, if you have no peace, I should say, uh, it's all meaningless. Nothing. It's nothing. Okay, it's nothing. You could be living in the streets and be at peace. I'm not saying you should live in the streets. I'm just saying, you know, there's nothing right or wrong about being famous and rich. There's nothing right or wrong necessarily about being, you know, not rich and all that stuff. So, it's all about being at peace. And then you could be anywhere at any time and be at peace. Because peace is peace is not disturbed by anything. Right? There's nothing but peace and peace. We're human, so we tend to not be in peace, or be peace itself, which would really be kind of like the highest state of consciousness, become peace, right? I think that's where Buddha and Jesus and those kind of people 
who became not people, when Jesus said something along the lines of, I am in this world, but not of it, um, I think he was talking about he had um, joined with the mind of God, or, you know, not the old man in the sky. If you believe in an old man in the sky, it's fine. But when I, when I share these spiritual type things and concepts, I am not in any way preaching to you. I am just sharing things, and if you like them, great. If not, that's fine. Take what works, leave the rest, and no way am I being pedantic and didactic, to use big words. Uh, I am simply sharing, and you take, leave, whatever, it's fine. Okay, this is not sort of war in the comment section of, you know, people fighting over religions and all that stuff. If anything, I'm trying to share and spread love so that those wars, like verbal wars, turn into, you know, fighting wars and fighting over guns and all that stuff. Stop. Okay, so um, you say, well, you're a mixed martial artist, you know, how could you say that? Stopping violence is not violence. Stopping violence means we simply, as, us people who study martial arts, hopefully are using it only to um, use as much um, violence necessary to stop violence and only when absolutely, absolutely is an absolute term, right? <laughs> there is nowhere to go from absolutely that's it when people say it's very unique no it's not very unique it's unique or it's not it's very circular no you don't inflect meaning you don't put an adjective before circular it's circular you can't have more square i want to be more square no it's square or it's not so um okay enough blah blah blah, blah. okay so uh, have a beautiful blessed day come back keep watching